Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Catherine. I'm a blonde mirror. I make videos about affordable luxury travel and also affordable luxury in the home. Today, we're here in my apartment in Philadelphia. My best friend is coming from New York and we're going to have my bachelorette weekend. Yay! Saturday and Sunday, filled with activities. She and I have figured out what to do. Also, as you'll see, I have a ring on. Um, this is my engagement ring. Um, it's also my wedding band, so yeah. So this kind of explains to you what's been going on with me in the last few months. And also, um, I've been you know, dealing with a lot with my nine to five job, so yeah. But here we are back at it again. <laughs> so in this video, I'm gonna show you what you can be doing for your bachelorette weekend or girls trip in Philadelphia for two days. There's so many things that you could be doing in Philly that I'm not covering. Um, one day I would like to show you, um, maybe stay tuned to my Instagram where I show you things um, that I do randomly throughout my weekends. Uh, it's at Blonde in the Air. Without further ado, let me take you out to Philly. After my friend came to my house, we drove on over to Mashulu restaurant. This is a restaurant on a boat. And this boat used to really be active in uh, history and the wars. This boat was so cool looking. The interior was beautiful. When we arrived at the table by the window, we saw that there was a congratulations envelope laced right on there and that was really exciting i felt welcomed and i opened it and that was fun it was a fun experience <laughs> it, and it's complimentary dessert <laughs> this is very cool another Thanks. fun surprise was that we Cheers. got free mimosas <laughs> have many vegetarian options on this menu and I told it to the waiter and then I ended up getting a whole vegetarian menu. This is amazing. I'm very excited. The food I thought was so much better than I expected. I thought that maybe this restaurant would be more focused on the aesthetic and the vibe and maybe the food is not at a high level. No, this food is really good. The last surprise the restaurant did to congratulate me on my engagement is a little piece of cake on a plate that says congratulations with a candle. So I blew out the candle as if I am representing me and my fiance and this is our wish as I blew out the candle. It's not a girl's trip or a bachelorette trip if it doesn't include a pampering session. So what we did here was look at the spa menu and see what is the cheapest treatment that we can do. And we saw there was a minty foot rub. We thought, you know, $85 can be justified to have not only this treatment, but also access to the facilities. The facilities include a gym, pool, relaxation lounge, which we later discovered, and also a beverage station of teas. After a relaxing spa treatment at the Logan Hotel, we got ready at my apartment, and then we went to Pumpkin. The really cool thing about Pumpkin is that they have a daily menu. That's really impressive. So they have a three course prefix menu that's $50. The menu is small, but even as a vegetarian, I was able to choose what I want to eat. It wasn't like this is the only option for a vegetarian. I think it's really fun to come here and try something new. After a day of eating and relaxing, it is time to have a vibrant night on the town. What ended up happening was, I only have footage of one of the places that we went to. I will list all the other places that we went to and other suggestions that you could be going on your bachelorette night. The next morning, we woke up and went to have brunch at 
Fork. This is another cool restaurant where the menu changes. The food here is definitely not typical brunch food. So we had a cheese board, which looked very natural, I will say. Um, <laughs> of course, we get to have our mimosas again, as it is a brunch. I would say that if you were to come here for brunch, just know that this is not a typical brunch spot. After having brunch, we spent the rest of the day exploring Philly by foot. We started at the Independence Hall area and looked at the Liberty Bell. and then walked along different streets and ended up at the city hall area. Because this was a nice holiday time, there was such beautiful Christmas trees and Christmas villages all around. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it and that you'll be coming to Philadelphia one day, maybe for your bachelorette party, your girl's trip, or just to visit. If you want more Philadelphia content, just visit my Instagram. I have an Instagram little story button that you can click on and I save all the different things that I do like on the weekends and I don't make a video about it. Check it out there and follow me. So if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my my channel. If you've done all the above, thank you so much. I really appreciate you and I'll see you in my next adventure.